a good morning world um, the Imperatrice the Empress uh, is here again yes uh, first I was made these videos in um, in Romanian because they need it a little bit like um, communicational education I was having some few spare time uh, some sexual education also I will talk today about small penis humiliation small penis humiliation it's a kink it's a kink that many guys they have it because guess what um, they have it this because of how a guy have this kind of, uh, of, of, uh, of kink uh, and why they searching people like me to tell them a lie it's a role play actually um, many guys uh, they know very few things about the genitals of women very few guys that they are maybe the educational point of view they are very big they have a certain type of education um, they are not also educated from this point of view because guess what uh, their woman uh, they never was telling the truth it was lied to them uh, their mother also lied to them uh, the society they was lied to them and they never search because it was not so accessible information everywhere they watching uh, porn videos uh, where woman they screaming at big dicks fuck um, their girlfriends or the person who was with them they wanted to harm themselves tell them stupid shit myself even if I have a one night stand if that guy dare to tell me my dick was not make uh, me ashamed or was not make me looking like fool I'm very honest I'm not kidding I'm that woman who will hit you with the truth depends what she was did in that day I will hit you with the truth um, because I have a certain type of uh, of respect for myself I have a certain type of respect um, of my ego and um, some guys at a certain moment I will I tell them the truth and if, it, if even if they don't ask me uh, I was having a period of my life when I was honest with some guys um, and for them was very terrified because of that there are very few women like me who will tell them the truth uh, even I have one night stand if I even if I have um, if somebody asks me about my orgasm, if really, really are interested about my orgasm, I'm fucking telling them. I also tell them about the truth, what I was like them. I have different reason why I like them. For example, I pick up uh, on one night stands uh, the guys who are dressed uh, uh, um, with uh, who have an impeccable uh, looking. Because I'm wondering maybe one day I would ask him uh, out and they already have uh, a costume they already have yes I will not use them as kindly like a sexual object or abuse them from this point of view so basically uh, I'm I'm choosing this guy from aesthetical point of view because on site they're not showing their dicks you know in many applications they are not allowed to put their dicks in some application, yes, but what are we doing on socializing? Uh, people, they don't get it that Tinder was not made, for example, this uh, this application or other application about socializing. Um, they are not over there uh, for, um, for sexual point of view. They're also to hang around. Kind of like they like each other 
if it's ending up with the sex, cool. Depends what kind of sex, depends on what they're discussing. Otherwise, they're having a sleep, they have a normal conversation, they have kind of like a normal uh, moment. Stupid shit like this, you know? Why they was give it this? Because, well, uh, they watching this video and they feel inferior. With people who have big dicks, because guess what? In porn, also those, they have need employing things. And yes, it's very important. The sounds outside. Um, I told you once again, I was found a guy who was focused on fucking only. So I was lied to him. But in the end, when we would split each other, because I was so with that, he wanted kind of like a masutra in using on the fucking shit thing. I said, okay, darling, you are just... I tell him the truth about... Um, he, was, he was hitting very bad, because he, in the end he would realize that he was... Uh, I would feel um, a physical attraction over him, not sexual attraction over him. I was like him, the way that he was speaking, the way that... The, his way of being. Um, he was a very lovely companion, besides of sex shit, but sex shit, bullshit, it's bullshit, was, uh, so I was, while I was conversation with him, I was trying to be educating him, sometimes I do that, um, I am a pain in the ass for those people who doesn't want to be educated, so basically, yeah, uh, I'm not a very pleasant uh, person at a date, because I'm not easy to be manipulated. I am not at all manipulated. If I uh, am agree sometimes, I pretend it for the physical or the fundamental or for the mental sake of that person. But basically, if somebody asking me about their sexual performers, performing or my sexual needs about that person, I am totally honest. I all the time say, if they ask me, I say it. Uh, many, many girlfriends of them, because they are upset of them, because they are upset about lots of things, um, they coming and they behaving, and they said, oh, I was found big dick, big person, big whatever. Uh, Uh, look at the woman who's choosing the partner when they do video chat. <laughs> if they do lots of sexual intercourse, they offer sexual intercourse, the dick of that person is small. The woman is very smart. That woman is very smart when choosing that guy partner for. And they having a partnership for that too only. That's it. Point. Um, and they splitting from different reason. For example, because they was using too much. I know a couple who was splitting because of this because that guy was uh, starting to not having uh, erection in the front of the webcam. That's command. He was just having some mental problem, and the mental problem was goes to the erection problem. He was not able to do this. How that guy was resolving the problem and was get he was just get rid of that uh, that woman was piss him off. She was, not a, she was not able to sit in the front of the webcam to talk uh, with the guys from over there. Uh, she was accepting all the time um, uh, absolutely anything besides of talking, besides of doing anything like this. They was in a dipshit. Still splitting each other. Most of the couple who was very consolidated together and they was... I don't know if exists this word in English. The couple, they was, they are couples who are united and they who are, who are honest. If, even if, let's not talk about only about online 
let's talk about anything else you decide to to stay with a woman because she cook because or she's beautiful or because she wearing heels like this you thought that will be kind of like a wife like a trophy wife and uh, you bring her in your town and present to everybody and said look what kind of woman okay and home you treat her like shit you treat her like uh, like a butthole or you treat her like uh, a cunt that woman will go it's that's it she will do that like a favor for you when she will go if she's honest like me she will telling you the truth if she is very very upset on you she will never telling you the truth about your cook that's why many guys they have the impression that they was they have a dick that is not enough actually woman doesn't need dicks very few women need a certain type of dick for example from um, um, point of view basically the G point it's somehow uh, one day I will make a video especially with the genitals of a woman so you could understand um, big dick they are good for penetration anally if they are wearing something in in their um, in their uh, um, in their in their pussy so they can touch the chi point otherwise when they when you're practicing anal you don't practicing anal like you see it in the videos you need a certain type because if that is a woman she doesn't have a prostate or yes only bodies who was was who was born with dick and that no matter how they identify themselves if they feel with the transformation or not whatever doesn't matter um they have for example um uh she may have, they will have the anal or gas because they have prostate woman doesn't have even the pee hole and it's based on the point G so what you call lots of women lots of people who sitting online lots of women they lying that is not coming when you see lots of water and lots of things it's not water it's combination between P and have a certain percentage inside of that liquid <laughs> that is okay Okay, should I say it or should I not say it? <laughs> this discussion I was having with the guy one time with the guy in the bed and they was just really upset and I said, you know, darling, I have some medical I also being patient and I also having some shits in life was happening to me so I will not give it up to me. Many people many woman many males 
have accidents or have things that is happening with themselves. They give it up on themselves and they become bitter. So because they are bitter, they try to poison everybody, every guy is from around. I never poisoned any guy that I was. If the guy was have the guts to ask me why you want to go, I was honest. Sometimes I was go because they was unpolite. Uh, some I was go because they was put pressure on sex shit and they wanted a certain type of sex which I was get the fuck out on the relationship. I was push the button uh, narcissist because us we can do that okay and I don't discuss. Some people they don't deserve the truth so I don't tell them. If they are uh, if they are verbal abuser, social abuser, because it is this kind, any kind of abuser they was. If they was ask me, I was tell them, and I was tell that I'm tired of this fucking abuse, and I would get the fuck out of the relationship. Sometimes, I was take measure. Ask police, ask a lawyer, ask government, ask colleague of mine from my army, that I was help them, I was ask help around me, people who was more smart than me, so I could get rid of this kind of shit. Some day was uh, coming kind of like they wanted the money, they thinking that I have money in the house. Some day was really upset and they was broke stuff, and just get out. With this kind of guy, you cannot speak with them. To this guy, I could not say the truth, because they are they was violence. So I just get the fuck out of my life. People who will not ask me, for example, um, I don't know what they consider him being sex. For example, for them, penetration sex for me is not even a hand job. For me, sex, I was help you. I'm that person who help you anyway. I know that very few people in this earth could understand a female as I am. So I don't have this kind of, I resolve my thing. I don't get frustrated. I don't uh, broke things in the house of that guy. Uh, I made a video. Uh, I made it this channel of mine where I, some of them, they found the truth. No, because they didn't found the truth. Then they was not having the guts to ask me. So they found it, the truth. Um, they was found some of them that I am uh, I am sapiosexual also. That means I am attracted about the intelligence of a male. If I have what to discuss with them, they feel intelligent. I feel attraction. No matter if it's about a uh, sapiosexual, it's about uh, sexual attraction uh, over the cognitive intelligence. Um, emotional attraction. Also, I was have it. I didn't have it. Sexual attraction over a guy. So they was barely now. After I was have it first uh, three years and a half relationship. Then I was have it very small relationship. In between, um, I was have it a relationship about twelve years when that guy was realized why I was. The gay person knows I was refused to help them to pretend that he is heteronormative to take the money from his mother. Uh, also with other guys who wanted uh, a woman to take care of them, or a woman to, okay. There was, in reality, not all the women are honest like me. If I was asked, I was answered. If I never asked, why I was, why are you fucking leaving? Why you are acting passive aggressive? That's my fucking business. It's my fucking life. Actually, actually, it's my fucking body. So I, you don't deserve it absolutely. Any, if you are a, if you are a manipulator or if you are an abuser, you don't have, this, you don't deserve a truth. I didn't lie, but many women they was lied. They said, you didn't, you have a small dick, uh, or the other guy. 
um, to uh, um, feel inferior, uh, feel superior over the, the, the other guy when they're sitting on the on the showers. Sometimes they uh, mock on the size or on the way of a dick of somebody. Um, not knowing that in the shower, any big cook, it's go shrinking so much. Some guys, um, because they like to uh, uh, show, thinking that the, 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 the male stuff, it stows on the size of the cook, the, because they were starting very early uh, the sexual uh, life of them. They lie to other guys who maybe they are having some emotional uh, um, issues because they are not have guts to uh, interact with a woman. Uh, they have anxieties uh, with socializing with women. I have social uh, anxieties, but something else that it's about autism. You need to understand this. Um, later, I will tell you what is about this. It's simple when you united together like shits. Yes, I asking police and the authorities, of course. Uh, it's not my problem because you are stupid. And you form together as a fucking idiot. Not my business. Um, or at my workplace, uh, when all the guys, they working together, let's fuck her this. Because uh, let's fuck uh, her relationship because she's... <laughs> It's crazy. People, they united together for different reason. It's not my business, sincerely. Um, if I feel that somebody feel so, if they feel offended or something, I ask stories and I tell the truth. Even about many years. In 10 years, in 12 years, in 20 years, in no, when it's happening, when that person have, um, uh, have a, an attack, uh, emotional attack, sexual attack. Um, I explain myself. I feel sorry, and I'm really feel sorry. Okay. Uh, sometimes uh, you can see that uh, my 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 stories they are honest because I really actually crying. Uh, I am a little bit more emotional. Well, I am a woman, uh, but I said the truth. I don't lie. Males they lie each other. So from this, it's starting CPH. Because of a trauma that was made in one friend of yours, trauma that made it your woman, uh, that you have it or your sexual partner of yours, trauma that exists from your family, from your mother, don't know how, because you was abused, uh, or because you was forced to put your hands on another dick, exist traumas from different reasons. The size of a cook count a lot for anal practitioner, which are males, for prostate. For them, it's very important, a big dick and a big size of meat. Many guys who need big dicks, no matter if they are gay, no matter if they are uh, straight, no matter if they, they are bisexual, they fucked up with the minds of, 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 of women. Tell them, no, you need big dicks. I know guys who like it, uh, their partners, to be fucked by somebody else in the front of them. When they, do, they see it, that that woman doesn't work in with them and only it's verbal. I was having this kind of relationship one time with a guy. Uh, and one time I was meeting, I was in a, in a, in a meeting with somebody and I was watching and I said, what the fuck, you're so fucking stupid. I didn't say to him, you are a fucking manipulator. Um, I didn't say that, but I was just stand up. He was wanted to know that he is part of, kind of like they have, um, how to explain, exist guys 
quite in a relationship and they have um, some fantasies uh, some they thinking themselves they are cuckold some they thinking that they are also exist cuckoldry like woman me I'm happy but I don't want to see it I'm not that kind of woman I don't want to see it this guy they want it for example I don't check my partner what the fuck you was what the fuck you did if they ask me something that I don't offering I said darling if you don't have money maybe I found some money you go to a sexual well, person who offering sexual thing let's found another solution let's found I you do whatever you do I do whatever I wanted I will go I don't see I don't know uh, you receive your fucking pleasure we move on the honest thing that I was having it was with that gay uh, with that uh, gay person uh, the others they was fucked up really fucked uh, now they was found out that I knew it, that he was manipulator, which they was not ready to found this, so kind of like they hate me, maybe, uh, because truth all the time, uh, people are not ready for this truth, people are not ready for smart woman as I am, for intelligent woman actually, like myself, who are able to take care of themselves, at least if you would that, that's my business. Um, so basically, that's why it was this small penis humiliation. You will not really know it, what kind of guys they was coming to me at my small penis humiliation. They was come also dicks like this, but sometimes they was coming some guys who were having a big cook, a normal cook, carry like 15 centimeters, 17 centimeters, 20 centimeters. I'm into CPH. Oh, cool. Into CPH. Let's do CPH. Um, so maybe they was not into CPH, but maybe it's the only thing that they could do it because they wanted to show me their dicks. I said, darling, you could say that you want to show me dicks and you want to come. There's no need to pretend that you need CPH. Actually, because uh, if you're really happening this, sometimes when I was finishing, and doing these videos that I was made in, some of them they was found the truth. Many women who sitting on, especially uh, women who are into BDSM, who use toys, who use, uh, they was at least going at some medical uh, um, uh, places where they take knowledge about this, how they can use a toy, what toy they use it for this, what, how much, uh, about the, the, the blood circulation. Uh, they will learn some few things about it. They just don't sitting in a chair. So they, basically, they have some medical preparation. Also myself. I was doing this for myself first. Okay. Then... Trying to go in this community of BDSM, I was found all sorts of people, less or more, um, less or more uh, uh, manipulators. Uh, many of them uh, in this community, they are pervs, they are perverts. They lie woman. Some woman who was wanted to discuss with me, I was help them to get rid of this kind of shit. By this video, hope I was supportive for this community of this. So when I coming now, CPH is a fun. It's about saying in a funny way that basically, cook of a male, it's useless for lots of women. In all guess especially big cooks. <laughs> this is the truth, unfortunately. And if your cook have the inclination, kind of like this, okay, the head of your cook is like kind of like this, it's very good for the penetration. Or missionary position. 
because on missionary position you can touch the G point, which you don't needed the, the you don't needed uh, the fingers. How much is the finger of yours? If it's too small, you will need a fist for touching. That's why you will need two fingers. And basically, you will enter somehow with this too. If you cook, it's more smaller than this, which is not okay for giving an orgasm to a woman. And because a woman was not speaking with you, you would have the impression. Because thinking that, oh, or maybe your fingers was dirty. Woman was not telling you. But you have solution. You have exist gloves, latex gloves. You have condoms. There are lots of methods you can do all by. That's why women, most of women, do not losing. The guy who was, was never told them that they don't have orgasm with them. More, and that's it. If the guy, somehow in this life, they found the one uh, uh, an honest woman like me, they're in a deep shit because they start to have question. For example, I don't know how, but I will not lie, a married guy. Or use them for sex. Penetration. I will be honest, or he will go home with question. At least this guy will learn something very interesting. If they are shit, with a shit personality, they will go home at, your, at their wife or at their uh, person, at their girlfriend. They will insult her, accuse her for lying, etc., etc. If the guy have a little bit brain, They will start slowly to question the woman from home. Found the turn on of that woman. Suddenly, most of the guys who are married or who are involved in a relationship, they will improve their sex life with their partners because they're speaking with me. Because if I fail, In a one night stand, from sexual point of view for me, it will be a winning for that guy. Because I all the time talk with a guy that I suspect that have a relationship or is married. If he's married, I will use him for jiggling, for night sleep, for having a meal. He will pay for his fucking shit. I will pay for his fucking shit. I will socializing. So while this talk, he will try to know why I don't fuck him. And he will find out why. Because I don't fuck these kind of guys. First, because I don't have a sexual attraction for them. And I all the time talk with these kind of guys. To understand their expectation. Why they are on this kind of sites if they are married? Or they are into a relationship. If they want just an experience or they try to grab it for their wife and get out. I was having this kind of guy too once. He was involved into um, uh, a relationship with, uh, with another woman. And he thought that I like women. I like woman and I was just sleeping I was try I was made it uh, uh, I was try to to having uh, a sensual uh, uh, orgasm uh, as much as I was possible to explain to him uh, and that's it 
next time he was already say to me die you will do that and do that and do that and uh, my partner loves woman loves pussies and I said what the fuck what I am to I was not I was being okay with the guy because guess what I am polyamorous <laughs> means I don't care with who you fuck I don't take the phone to controlling you to accusing you if you stay home there I'm happy if you take care of me happy I don't care about your whatever doing I don't search people. where are you within you know not that kind of controlling person I am a person who is dominant dominant in my life dominant in general I like if I, I talk first I don't controlling you I don't make you I don't force you I let you exactly as you are as I was matching you I cannot change the size of your cook you will see that lots of women they are in your relationship with you because they like it anything else than your cook but they will not ignoring your cook that's for sure if you are stupid you will go home and you will say that is the fault of a woman if you are smart enough you will realize that you are a fucking piece of shit you or you was a selfish idiot until then and you never asked yourself if the partner really really have orgasm or not which is really bad because lots of relationship like this is broke because of this because the guys was never count or woman wanted to speak with you about that and you didn't want it and he said they are always speaking in the bed and I said yeah cool is I was having this kind of date too the guy was uh, monogam uh, from sexual point of view I am non monogam from uh, from social point of view and from I'm not controlling I don't go in and I, I have I have a, a, a loving relationship with my friends which most some of them they are gay or they have families I don't feel attraction over their husband or over that the fuck the guy if they was if somehow they will see or s observing some stuff people they will jealous it's kind of this kind of jealous stuff at the point so a woman like me will just move on if you don't ask her she will never telling you I'm an example if that person is not curious I never if I go I tell them why I'm going because exist some people who are all the time mocking you uh, they're making fun of you the way that you pronounce the words myself I am dyslexic I have a sort of dyslex uh, dyslexia this let's see even this word I cannot pronounce it uh, it doesn't matter I don't give a shit uh, many out here they have this especially it's about another language if they don't practicing a word it's not about verbal it is four type of dys 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 dyslexia I uh, have uh, one that is about words okay maybe they, fun, they make fun about this they make fun about um, uh, the fact that you uh, cleaning yourself very often uh, make fun of you because you take care about yourself you make fun because uh, uh, you are very interesting about the fact that you have it whatever it is but it is in, in our I, I was in that kind of relationship I don't, don't remember how much and I could not standing I said what the fuck is going on with you at the point I said do you know that is disturbing me this and it was not understand 
so he was continuing to disturbing. Ah, but he really have fun. Okay. Sure. I will not uh, interrupt you. I will not stay. My uh, uh, my way of being. I will not sitting between you and the fun. Go, go, shit, please make fun. Damn, he's starting to make fun of my uh, friends. When he will stop making fun about this, he will start making fun and insulting my friends, then insulting my uh, my members. And I said, oh, this guy have a problem. So they said, I'm tired. I don't like it. You could make fun, you, you could insult somebody who have directly problem with you. It's okay with me. I do this very often. You are fucking stupid and get the fuck out. I, I put the fucking shit and I get out. You are in co you don't have enough uh, co uh, information. You are ignorant. You are whatever. I say it, poof, I'm going. I don't discuss in details. If you are interesting to know about details, I'm telling you. Otherwise, I get the fuck out. I don't have time for explanation. My life is very short. That simple. I don't want to change you. You found the woman that you really love you. Like this. With stupid shit. With this kind of things. Trying to insulting you in the front of the family. Trying to... Well, you want to insult her in the front of the family. Found somebody who want to pop, 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 pop every day. Because my life is so quiet. I want quiet. I was born autist. My life is quiet. If you come and disturb my this, get the fuck out of my life, please. Okay. I didn't tell them you have a small dick. You have small fucking shit to performing. I don't want to do sex with you even if I if we fitting together on the best sex shit. I'm get the fuck out of it. Get out, out, out. No matter. If I fit with that person from any kind of other point of view and with the sex now, I resolve my own shit. I resolve my own uh, orgasm. If that person was never ask me if you are happy, I never tell them. I lie because I like that guy. It's okay. No matter what you give me, it's cool. I never telling you. It's these guys that I never told them that I was shit from from sexual point of view. Never. That was failed. It was total fail from sexual point of view. It was okay. When I would start saying that they are fail from sexual point of view, people, but man, they was upset at me and they said, oh, it's the size of the dick. No. It's your lack of knowledge about orgasm and anatomy of a woman. Simply like that, they would block themselves, shocked. And they... Some, they need to speak with me many months. I do remember that one time I was did that with somebody. And then it was come to me and said, you know, yeah, can we have a discussion? I don't want to be stupid. In case that I found a woman like you. In this life, and I would like them. I don't want to... One single guy was did that. But first, he was not speak with me many, many months. That guy was telling me and it was okay to explain to him. That is a true man from my point of view. Not the size of course. He was wanted to really know from me. Not from what society say. Not from what uh, friends of them say. Not what uh, the opinion of other people they will not ask boys, you know, I have a date with somebody. Yeah, and that woman will say something like this. Can you enlighten me what the hell wrong I was did? No, he was ask me. 
and I tell him. And he was thanks me. He was ask apologize. He said, it was not your fault. I didn't know how to express myself at that point of view. I think it was in 2000, which are many years since then. Uh, I was exactly after my uh, my uh, problem with the genitals that I was having. Uh, which it's okay for me because after that I was have a lovely uh, sexual life after. My life, my sexual life uh, just goes ups and down uh, for some reason uh, or because my partner was gone in another part of the world and basically you could not uh, offering uh, or because uh, my partner was uh, uh, having uh, sexual uh, having business in another part of the world I'm not depending on them I must figure out they are not stupid jeez that I didn't swear nothing like they didn't ask me you know you need to to be faithful for me blah 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 no move on we move on what have I told you why because there was a, a abuser from social point of view or from uh, mental point of view or from communication point of view or from emotional point of view uh, and I was asking sorry and I was again get out is the most thing that you can do it so this is about but sexual life was cool until uh, society was putting inside it's not okay to have to uh, to submit to another woman like the society they was in our bed um, like uh, oh she treats you bad or she treats you I don't know how uh, like friends of uh, one partner he said uh, to him um, oh if she doesn't uh, asking you what where you was or what she was did what he was did she doesn't care about you I, I didn't want it to look like I controlling him When I would start saying what the fuck I was did, that guy was said, "Ah, you want to violating me? You told me about the, you told me about the strap on and other stuff." I said, "What the fuck? Did I ever please a male? Fuck you! You have problems. I don't have problems. And it's about the problem of your dick size. It's not about. It's about the problem that you are sick. In general, you have some toxic shit." Just get the fuck out of it, please. I thought that we have a relation. If you are not interested, I must. If I must know what the fuck you was, what the fuck you was did this today at your work, and how you was driving, and how you was having problem with one. Uh, uh, I thought that is normal that I'm listening to you because you have a very tough day. Do you think that I am into knowing, into papers, and? How you was betraying like a shit, and they was you lost. I don't know what kind of package. And he, no, I'm not into that. You know, this is not my privilege. Of no, I'm get out on the session. Get out. I'm get out. No, I don't want to know. You know. Um. Also, I was having at the moment uh, a relationship with uh, with a uh, with a girl, and she was trying to tell me sh lots of things about herself. What they, darling, we don't have a relationship. Go and find a fucking woman to have a relationship with her. I am not interested about your ass. To know, I'm not interested to know what was happening to your phone. No, so no, thank you. I don't want to know how lesbian or other people or how you have your orgasm. No, I'm not interested. You was come over there, but I didn't ask you anything. You was coming and you discussing because I was a psychosexologist. After 
actually, I was trying to prepare me for that. She was found out this shit. Um, I'm not interested about that, all the fuck like this. Come on, get the life. Hey, that was woman! And I use him like a dildo. I don't care how you use males. I really don't care. I really don't care. I really don't care how lesbian viewers work in... I... I... I just want to sleep. Believe me, I was at the moment I thought that I could use her for an excuse to get rid of myself from uh, from unpleasant um, uh, for unpleasant uh, uh, dates, but I was resolved in that problem too, so I will not need it to use my friends for that. Um, I thought that it's insulting, so I said, okay, it's insulting, good, I'm get out. Uh, you don't need to accept this. At the point I was at the date and I was enjoying the date, and I thought that it's normal that if I enjoy the date, you will not disturbing me. I thought it's normally that I said that I will calling it the date is bad or something. Okay. Um, or if I'm then I'm feeling dangerous shit, whatever. Yes, good. Uh, but I was found other kind of people, ma in general males. Uh, and yes, exist police. Exist lots of uh, lots of other organization who will take you in serious uh, when you are in a deep shit. Because actually, friends will not will have fun, and I don't know why they will just lose. Who the fuck needed to know why they are reacting? So that's why you don't need the opinion about your sex life unless you found honest people like I am who have medical knowledge or who doesn't take it in personal because basically it's a role play and you receive kind of like a, a reason, you give a reason to those. I don't took it in serious. So, if it's affecting your uh, self-esteem, size of your cook, because uh, my, uh, my sexual life or my self-esteem was not affected, when I was having um, a failure with somebody, uh, that guy was just doesn't care. So I was move on. Uh, that's all. Move on to. Don't uh, accept the uh, unprofessional. Um, advices about your sexual relationship unless if you want to have fun come and try CPH maybe it's fun if it's fun try it if you want to give uh, a good reason or a fun reason or a shitty reason or a fantasy reason based on your uh, on your cook cool it's really okay uh, if you want uh, to give me the impression that you submit to me and you are obedient, you can also want the CPH. But if you don't enjoy it, the CPH, then you are in a deep shit, darling. You will self sabotage yourself, which is not okay. So what can I say? Even in fun, you should be wise. And maybe the, the woman in the front of you is not just smart. Maybe she's intelligent like I am. Then you are in a deep shit. If she's intelligent. And if she's not an abuser, and she will find a reason and a why 
should go in that place you should really know it uh, in case that you decided yourself to move on and get the fuck out from my life I will help you to keep the decision because when you are upset this is your real you and that I will never change no matter how intelligent I am no matter how much we, I would love you no matter how much I will feel attraction other type of attraction than sexual attraction if you are an abuser I cannot change that I will flag you as an abuser I will showing you that you are an abuser with me I will telling you why you are an abuser with me I will really actually identify why you are an abuser with me and I will move on but I will not telling you never that it's about your dick because it's not true so when you do the CPH you do it because you love it to do CPH just because it's fun or because you need to resolve a problem because you are considering being very sexy that a woman considering that your dick is not enough and your dick is growing and it's because in this case it's cool I was so people who was really really having an explosion on CPH fantasy because it's a fetish those who are not into this move on darling don't self-sabotage yourself on pages of intelligent woman not smart intelligent because smart woman they will lie to you I was smart also in some moments from emotional point of view I was smart But if that guy was asking me why I was split with him, why I didn't talk with him, why I was finished the relationship, I was in the deep fuck. Because I said it before. I wish everybody, even when they have fun, to be wise. Because I like to pretend that I'm stupid. Por amor del arte. Why not?